Who else loves the new uh, Beyonce? Beyonce? Yeah, Beyonce's album. I freaking love it. And like before now, I was a Beyonce fan, but not as hardcore as what I am now after that album. It's just so good. But anyway, welcome to another video. I'm feeling a little bit uh So I thought that today I would film a video trialing out a new product that I've just bought. So I've just gotten out of the shower and I've been fluffing around trying to find something to wear. The weather is so yuck and it's just one of those yuck days. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like it's still not cold enough. So it's, it's like the kind of weather where you just don't really know what to wear. Like, should you just wear something light or what? Sometimes it is colder in the evenings and in the mornings, but for me, in our house, we actually had the fan on the other night. That's how cold it like hot it was in our house but anyway as you guys can see I am absolutely bare faced and um ugh, I just hate looking at myself like this but anyway I am going to show you guys and also get ready at the same time the new product that I've just recently got now I actually misplaced this I totally forgot about it um, I put it underneath our coffee table and I just didn't look at it for like uh, two weeks until in the weekend just gone um, I was tidying up and I found it and I was like what the hell what's this and then I realized it was my Shanixo BH cosmetic palette which I got in the mail and look at this packaging though it's just wow just for the palette that's a pretty good packaging inside it was packed, as you guys can see, I've already opened it, of course. Um, it was packaged up like this. It was nicely folded. And it had, you know, a bit of paper in there. Then it came with um, a, thank you, oh, thanks for choosing BH Cosmetics little flyer. Spring, warm, up to soft finish and bright shades little, little card thingy. Obviously here in Aotearoa it's autumn. And then just a little note from Shannon, or Shanixo. Um, so that was really cute. And yeah. Also, and then your little, little thing that you get. So this cost me at the time $14.50. That is in US dollars, I believe. And all up, it cost $19.50. So I thought that was pretty reasonable. I don't know what that is in New Zealand dollars. But I thought that was pretty reasonable and actually I've never shopped on BH Cosmetics before so this is the first time. And then of course in here is this beautiful palette in bubble wrap. So nicely shipped and this is what it looks like. So sorry if the lighting in here is sucky because it's such a dull day today. But this is just the cardboard uh, that is inside. But pretty much what it says is YouTube beauty vlogger and makeup artist Shannon Harris, known to her fans as Shannon, so shares her makeup secrets with an inspirational message. Now a top global beauty influencer, Shannon so has handpicked a mix of dynamic and down-to-earth shades that add up to a multitude of wearable looks that flatter a variety of skin tones. And that's what I really liked about this when I saw the lip products. I thought there is a shade in there that would, would suit every skin tone for sure. So, if you don't know much about this, she released this not very long ago and I was super duper excited. Now when a YouTuber comes out with like, you know, some sort of cosmetic or something, I'm not the type to rush in and buy it. I'm just like, oh yeah, we'll be there for ages. Like, and sometimes it isn't because most, most of the time they're limited editions. Um, I'm not sure if this is a limited edition. Does it say in here? Pro I, I would say it would be. But anyway, this is what it looks like. It's quite sturdy, like it reminds me of a hardcover book. And that's the outside. The stupid lighting in here is probably not picking it up, but it's like this really cute, um, like pink, pinky color, like, I think it's silver as a gold. Oh my gosh, I can't even see. It's that kind of goldy, um, or silver I can't see it right now um embellished writing it just says BH cosmetics and then Shanixo and the cool thing about this is it's duo sided so it's got 
eyeshadows on one side and lip products on the other side. So the first one I'm going to open up is the eyeshadow palette. Comes with a decent sized mirror as well, which is pretty awesome. These are the colours and I find those just beautiful. They're so nice and very warm toned. Um, so yeah, that's that's those, those are the eyeshadows. And then on the other side is the lip products. Once again, a pretty decent sized little mirror, great for travel. And these are the, sorry, the curtain. Oh my gosh. Come back, come back Leah. And those are the lip products. I'm going to tie this hair up because it is getting in my way. I've been up since 5.30 guys because, oh, thucksa. That looks so thucksa. Because I went to boot camp this morning so I've been awake for a while and I'm just like awake. So... We might as well get into this um, and I'm going to hopefully, I'm going to give it a go um, and see what I can create. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to work so I always do these when I'm about to go to work. So I'm actually going to do like a kind of get ready with me video. So if you want to, you could get ready with me right now if you want to. That would be pretty cool um, and we can get ready together. So the first thing I want to start off with is the Rimmel Stay Mac Primer. Um, I like this because it kind of reminds me of a bit of like a moisturizer, but it just helps to, oops, some on the lid. It just helps with um, keeping the oil at bay on my skin because I've got really oily skin. Um, but when I travel, I notice that it gets really dry, so maybe it's a bit of both maybe it's a combination of skin i've also got on a little of a lip balm my favorite the haro chocolate lip balm i've got that on at the moment um i'm just going to pop on some mac pro long wear um, foundation and i'm pretty sure when it starts looking like that that means that it's like it's like almost all gone which is sucky. Like so I'm not gonna really I'm not really worrying about too much of a you know really good coverage or anything like that. Although this this foundation is pretty good at um coverage wise. It makes your skin almost look to me anyway, it almost looks like my skin is is, is perfect, like flawless. Just thought I would turn on a light because it's just so dark in this room today. Holy I look like a ghost now. I don't know if that's showing up ghost-like on your side. I look freaking white. Let's just turn that off. I'm just going to use a little bit of concealer to kind of prime my eyelids. So I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear in the colour NC35. Then with my brows, I'm just going through with my trusty spoolie. Um, I'm just going to use my Barry M lip kit, lip kit, gosh, Barry M um, brow kit, which totally, I need to get like a new new brow kit or something like that because this one is, is pretty much yuck now, I would say. I've had it for quite a while. Alrighty, now on to the eyeshadow palette. This is the most satisfying part. Just feels so good. I think I'm gonna go through with this kind of lighter browny colour into the crease. Ooh, these are really pigmented too. You don't actually need a lot. Ooh! So nice! You don't need a lot, that's for sure. Probably put Put a bit too much in there. <laughs> That's really pigmented. I love that brown. It's normally I use like um like a deeper brown. I don't really go for a. This is almost like a. This is a very vibrant brown. I reckon. Probably have put in a bit too much, but all good. All goods in the hoods. Now I think I'm gonna go for. I really like this. I really like that colour. I think I'm going to go for like that kind of rosy kind of colour. That's a nice one. And 
and just apply that to the middle of my eyelid. I might just try a little bit of this on top as well. This colour right here next to the brown one that I used. <gasps> That's a nice one too. That looks different to what it looks on my eyelid than what it does on the pan. And then I'm going to deepen up the outer V. I'm going to use this colour here. And then just to highlight, I think I might take that shade there. Yeah. And just that like, this is colour next to the highlight shade. Oops. That colour there I might just put in the inner tether. Does that be cool? That's nice. That one there. In there. I'm literally just making this up as I go guys so I might just put a little bit of that brown underneath the lash line as well one next to it as well oh my gosh imagine if she named these like the colors Animals. I would so do that. One called Louie, the other one called Zeus. What a good idea. By the way, if you guys don't watch her, that's her dog's names. Just gonna do a very simple wing using the Maybelline Matte Precise Liquid Liner. I freaking love this liner, it's so good. While that dries, I'm going to just brighten the under eye area with some Wake Me Up um, concealer, correct it in the colour Classic Beige, just to give that, maybe I should try the baking thing again. <laughs> I actually said I'd never do that again, but we can always, we've got time guys, we've got time to do this stuff. You see, I'm going try to share. put a little bit of mascara on because I am going to just wear lashes for this look. Oh my gosh, imagine if I, if I wear this to work, people are going to be like, what the hell is And oh, I'm using the Jordana Best Lash Extreme African Love This Mascara, it's my fave. I normally always get mine off Beauty Joint because it's so freaking cheap on there. I will come back and do my under eyes. These are EXO Beauty lashes, but I've forgotten which ones they are. Um, oh, they've got a bit of dust on them. How did they get a bit of dust on them? That's weird. Because I've actually got this cute little case that I put lashes in. My mum got it for me. And I meant to... Um, ugh. Oh, there it is, there it is. They're actually meant to hold your lashes so that you can redo them, um, reuse them. Okay, so let's let's try this, guys. Let's try it. Let's see if it will work again. Lashes aren't really my friend. I might start sweating soon because this is. <sighs> I just dropped it. It's got a lot of glue on it, so hopefully this works. lashes just make a whole big difference okay so while my lashes are drying 
I'm going to move on to powder. And I've got the Australis Banana Powder, which I've been quite liking because it's really nice underneath like your eyes and I don't know, it just kind of brightens up that area even though I'm looking pasty white right now, like a vampire. Um, I'm going to just warm up my face because it looks freaking white as um, with the Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer. Seems like a shitload of makeup that we're using today, but well, we are. To use this LA Girl Glow Brick Beauty Brick, and I'm gonna use this color right here. It's my blush. Blush. And then I'm going to finish off by doing my lash off. And I'm just going back in with the Jordana Lash Extreme. Is it Lash Extreme? This Lash Extreme. <gasps> now it's time for my favourite part. Finding the um, best lip. So, another satisfying pull from the palette. Oh, I'm gonna need a sticker to get it off. Just so satisfying. Mmm, I think I might go for. I don't really know. These are all such beautiful colours. I really want to go for this one right here. So, so we'll just we'll just have a little try on. Hopefully, this video hasn't bored you yet. Actually, I'm using one of her EXO Beauty lip brushes. So, let's see how we go with this. Uh, hmm. I want something a bit more bold. I think. This is so hard. Maybe because it's autumn, we'll go for something autumny. I think I'm gonna go for this dark red. We'll see. <gasps> oh yeah. This color is nice. Okay, there's a little bit of a mixture of the pink beforehand. But I suppose that's the beauty of this palette. You can do that. Nice. Yeah, no, I really think that this colour probably is a little bit better in this, this whole look. So I've kind of just quickly run a straightener through my hair. But anyway, this is the finished look. And I forgot to use setting spray, so I'm going to show you guys now. Um, and I'm using the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. And this is the oil control one. And I freaking love this because it feels so nice on your face. Like, look at this. Okay, there's enough there probably wasn't even spraying it onto my face anyway this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah my personal review on this palette is I freaking love it um, I love the pigmentation of the eyeshadows they are freaking divine um, I love how sturdy it is like you know it's quite sturdy um, and I love how it's dual so it's got the lip sticks on one side and the um, eyeshadows on one um, yeah definitely one of those ones that you can take with you when you go traveling yeah I just really really like this and um, yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you want to check out how you can get your hands on this you can go to a website down below which I will link to the BH Cosmetics website um, yeah definitely going to be checking out this website a lot more because I really do like it it's really really nice um, so yeah thank you so much guys for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in our next bye